Well, good, uh, good evening again. Um, I was sitting here reading a little bit in Hebrews chapter 5, and, um, I was thinking about a person that is grown in the Lord. They're not content with just eating baby food. You know, baby food has to be mashed. It has to be uh, squeezed and it has nutrients added to it. And a baby begins with a milk supplement and then the baby moves on to what we call baby food and sad to say but there's many people that you almost have to wonder if they even have any desire to even drink of the milk um, I asked one of my family members today if she needed a Bible. And she let me know that she had three of them. And all I was doing was simply making an offer to her. I wasn't. I wasn't judging her, but she used the word, are you trying to, are you trying to say something to me? And I guess maybe in a way you could take it that I was somewhat questioning her development in the Lord, if she even has any development. She doesn't say that much to me, but I offered one of the little testaments that I have, and sad to say, a lot of times this world has a lot of things to offer, but the Word of God is... The word of God is not used. Um, the word of God is just not, it's not used. And um, you have to ask yourself if people are content to drink the milk. And if they're not even drinking the milk, you know that they're not eating of the food. And you have to question yourself whether they're eating of the food or not. Um, I'm not sure who the writer of Hebrews is. I believe it could very well be Paul. And in the verse that I've got picked out is at the end of chapter 5. In verse number 13, it says, For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. Now you notice it said, Everyone that useth milk is unskillful. You know, you can be an avid reader, but if you're on the mill, you're going to have a hard time learning and a hard time studying because a person that is content in drinking milk, for the most part, is not growing. 
for the most part, they're happy to just be on the milk. And the milk doesn't give you the strength that you need to continue. It is for a period of time. The writer is saying here, for everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. A babe is not going to understand the true words of God, because if they decide they that they like being a baby, then they're content in being a baby. If they like being a baby. Um, how many people do I know that is not even drinking the milk? You know, a little tiny baby sucks the milk. When the newborn baby is born, they suck the mother just like a calf would locate its mama and the mama would locate it, locate its calf, she allows that calf to suck on the, on the milk to be able to grow. And in this verse here, for everyone that uses milk is unskillful. Unskillful in the word of righteousness. You know, if a person doesn't read their Bible, they're not going to get the knowledge of God. They're not going to get the understanding of God. They're not going to get the benefits of God when they are content in staying for a long period of time on the milk. You know, when you look in that YouTube and you see children that are nursing their mother, the mother has an obligation to break them away from the milk after a year, maybe a little bit longer, but that baby needs to get on something more than just milk. You know, to me, it would be embarrassing to be a three or four or five year old still drinking milk. You know, a child deserves meat. A child des deserves um, hamburger, bread. Uh, sustenance that will make a child grow, make his bones grow. Milk has a potential of making you grow, but when you run out of that potential of milk, you need to be on the meat. And what this verse is saying here, it says, for everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. For he is a babe. Now that's assuming that a person is being born again. It's assuming that a person has been saved. That they're not content on just being on the bottle, but they want to grow. But I witnessed to so many people that don't care to even open their Bible, and yet they call themselves a Christian. They call themselves born again, but you never see them in a hungry state of mind. You don't ever see them in a hungry uh, desire to eat. You just, you just don't. Um, it makes you wonder. You know, just like the young lady today that said about being judgmental. Well, I hope that I would never 
be judgmental. I was only simply asking her if she had a Bible. But you know what? She has to be the one to tell herself if she's growing or not, if she is eating of the word of God or not, if she's even a believer or not. You know, I don't know. I'm not around her that much to even quiz whether she is for real or still drinking the bottle. But in verse 14, it says, But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age. You know, I should be enough on the word of God to be able to handle strong meat. I've been doing this now since the time the Lord saved me in 2007. We're now within a week of rocking into 2022. I will never, ever be smart. I will never, ever go to college. I will never, ever get a degree. There will be some things that I will not know anything about because I didn't go to a place to study to learn certain things. Again, the people that I speak to is elderly people. You got to speak on their level. You got to bring a message that is on their level. A message like this right here that I'm doing tonight is a message that could easily be understood by most older people because they understand that milk has its place only for a certain amount of time and then meat has to take over. See, in this verse 14, but strong meat belongeth to them that are full age. I think there's a lot of people, honestly, that they're content on eating the hamburger. Now, I just noticed this, and I'm not trying to read into it, but you notice that verse 14 said, but strong meat. What do you think strong meat means? Well, let's look at a piece of meat. Strong meat is not hamburger. Um, hamburger is ground up. Um, cube steak is beat to the point that it's broken up a little bit. Strong meat is when you got to really use your teeth to eat the meat. Strong meat is where you got to use a knife to be able to cut the meat up into little chunks, little, little small chunks to be able to chew the meat. Strong meat would be a piece of meat that wouldn't be like a piece of hamburger. See, hamburger, you just take your fork. If you're eating it like a steak and you got gravy and onions on it, you take the fork and you break off a little piece of the hamburger, you soak it in the gravy and onions, and you eat it. It's relatively soft for the teeth to handle the chewing of the meat. But when this verse here said, but strong meat, strong meat, you can look at a piece of New York strip. A piece of New York strip is considered to be strong meat. You don't pick it up with your hands and eat it. You take a knife and you take a fork and you cut the pieces up big enough that you can be able to easily eat without choking. 
That's the reason you see mothers take meat and they dice up the meat real fine. There's some people that are even in the nursing home that are grown adults that they have to have their meat paraded, meaning it has to be mashed up like baby food. See, the baby started out with milk and soft meat would be like hamburger. To be honest with you, I love a hamburger better than I do steak. Number one, steak is more affordable or more uh, costly than hamburger meat is. But hamburger is easier to eat with your teeth. When you don't have a lot of teeth, hamburger is just easier and it's quicker and it's faster to just eat hamburger. And I have a feeling there's a lot of people that are happy with Christianity hamburger. Instead of strong meat Christianity, they're plum content with hamburger Christianity. But see, this writer said, but strong meat belonging to them that are of full age. Now, what is full age? I would say that a person, when they're full age, would be when they are 18 years old. A mother is not going to chop up the meat for an 18-year-old. An 18-year-old is of full age to cut up his own meat and eat his own meat. A 18 year old don't need mama to cut up the meat for him. You know, there's times when my wife makes something for me. Sometimes she'll even cut it up because she knows how hard it is for me to use a knife without spilling something, without it running over the edge of the plate. She'll just sort of do it for me to save the work of me having to cut it up. But that's nice of her to do. She's doing it so I won't spill the food. And there's nothing wrong with cutting up strong meat. Having someone to give you strong meat. See, this verse right here and these passages and verses that I'm reading should Make a person desire, am I eating hamburger, or am I on the meal, or am I eating strong meat? And if you're content in just eating hamburger, then I guess you could say that hamburger is filling, and hamburger is good, but there's just something about a real steak. There's just something about going down and ordering a 14-ounce New York strip with A1. I like A1. I like Heinz 57, but I like A1 as well. Some people say you mess up the taste of the steak by adding steak sauce. I like A1. I always have. It makes the meat better. It makes the meat uh, more pleasant to eat. You have enjoyment when you eat. Think of someone that is not able to eat. I know of people in the nursing home that wasn't able to eat. But this verse is talking about strong meat belonging to them that are of full age even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Now, that's a lot to say in one running of a clip, but, you know, it talks about discernment. There's not many Christians that have discernment. They don't see the evil when it comes. They don't see the blessing 
when it comes. They don't want to go through no trial and error. They don't want to go through anything because it's a little bit more work, see, to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. You know, I think what I would like to do is get a piece of steak and make it small enough to give it to my grandson and see what he does when it's time for him to eat the meat. Obviously, his mother or grandmother or even me won't let him use a knife. He, he's only six. But I would like to cut up the meat for him and watch him be able to eat the meat of what you would call strong meat. You have to begin to have a desire to want to eat the strong meat. Instead of just eating hamburger all the time, you would want to see someone eat stronger meat because it says that by reason of use, have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. See, we're talking about meat, but it's also talking about being able to recognize the good and the bad. A person that is able to exercise the meat that they eat should also be able to exercise the good things and the bad things, meaning the things of the good of God and the things that are the bad of Satan. But when you stay out of the word then you're considered to be a babe and you're just sucking on the milk. And to be honest with you, the milk is not filling. Even though it fills the void, it fills the cavity. You know, your body has a cavity on the inside. That when a person is hungry, they have a cavity of emptiness on the inside and they want to be able to have that cavity filled with something to make them feel satisfied. There's a lot of people that are walking around today with the empty spiritual stomach, and it's because they're taking a few spoonfuls of the milk, and the milk is not satisfying because... The milk is not necessarily for the full aged. It's for the babes. But as a person grows into their spirituality, they should desire the meat of God's word, talking about the word of God. But when we keep our Bibles closed and we keep our Bibles shut, then we have to ask ourselves, are we really pleasing the Lord, and I'd even go one step further, do you even know the Lord? If you're happy with milk, and you are content in being on milk, I would doubt whether you even know the Lord or not, because the Lord says that he wants you to eat on the meat of the word, talking about the word of God. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. When we don't open up the Bible, we don't care to know what the Bible is saying. And how are we going to grow if we don't open up the word? It's just something to check yourself with today. Elderly Ministry is how you get a hold of me if you want to talk. Elderlyministry.com. You can contact me there if you got a question about salvation. That's what really fills the cavity is knowing that you're in salvation with the Lord. 
If you want to look me up on YouTube, this is the YouTube channel right here. You can look me up on YouTube, type that in, and it will take you to the YouTube page. And you're welcome to give me a call. There's a phone number there on the vi on the bottom part of the video that you can give me a call. I'll be glad to talk with you if I can do anything to help you, okay? I hope that you dine on God's Word. It's the only thing that will fill the empty cavity. Thank y'all for watching.